welcome to today's graphic design tip of the day. For today's tip, we're going into Adobe Illustrator to learn how to create highlights on vector shapes two different ways. The first way is with creating a mesh. So you can see I have my shape drawn here. I'm going to select my shape and grab the mesh tool from my toolbar. Select where you want to add in that highlight and you'll click it and you'll see it drops an anchor point and it gives you those three dimensional boundaries. If I go to my color palette and choose a lighter value of that same color, you can see it's going to drop in that highlight. The more intense you want that highlight, the brighter the value you can add in there as far as the tint of that color. If you want to add in more anchor points to that shape, you can absolutely do that and drop as many as you need to and adjust each of those individually for different um, highlights that would be coming into the space or something reflecting on the surface. The second way is to create a, a second circle. So I'm going to draw a second circle on top of my original, make it a little bit smaller. And for this one, I'm going to create a gradient. So instead of my fill, I'm going to change it to my gradient. And you can see I already have this adjusted, but I'm going to turn both sides of my gradient to white. Now the trick is the second side, the one that's going to blur out at the bottom, you want to change the opacity to zero. That's going to have it fade off into that space and give it that realistic look. Um, and obviously the one that I created down here is way brighter than the one that I have above. You can always turn your opacity down or adjust the opacity of that top piece as well. Um, end result can be a logo, can be something fun like the ornament that I created here. I hope you enjoyed today's graphic design tip of the day.